Chelsea against Tottenham, a match that catches Chelsea with one eye on next week and Spurs with both fixed on building for next season. For Chelsea, there's been an uncomfortable run of injuries. Apart from Hudson, Harrison and Hutchinson are also missing from this team. But Chelsea are renowned for their reserves. And one who comes in today after a season of injury is Alan Birchinell, a big, strong striker. He, Hinton and Baldwin will all be looking for a chance to force their way into the Wembley team. As for the Spurs, their recent form has been promising and their team shows Kinnear and Knowles again as a full-back partnership and a lot of strength in midfield. Here, of course, a lot of it is down to their new star, Martin Peters. He should work well with Mullery and Perryman. So Kevin Howley gets the game away. Spurs all in white kicking off, defending the goal to our right. Chelsea just this week away from Wembley. Anxious, no doubt, to make a good impression, to keep their morale high but uh, doubly anxious not to get anyone injured. Here's Osgood, 28 goals this season. To Cook, and burchinell has got into the middle, but Philip Beale back in the Tottenham side, finding Joe Kinnear. Spurs, who've had such a patchy season, but a very good record against uh, London clubs. They've been away to three London First Division clubs. They've won them all, 2-0 at Crystal Palace, 1-0 at West Ham, 3-2 at Arsenal, and no doubt very anxious to make it number four this afternoon. John Hollins now to David Webb. Chelsea all in blue. Baldwin and Hausman going up to tackle from Mullery, taking it away from Hausman. So it's Gilzine and Dempsey covering at the back for Chelsea. Hollins, Chelsea's player of the year. But Peters beating him and finding Mullery. Hinton a little lucky to get that uh, return pass there from Hollins. But now Knowles to Mullery. The teams drew 1-1 at White Hart Lane earlier this season. Gilzine losing it to Skipper for the day with Ronnie Harris injured. Eddie McCready. Hausman with an unfamiliar number eight on his uh, back. Gilzine. Kinnear. Beal. Throw to Tottenham. Alan Mullery to take it. And Mullery again. Hausman. Beating Perriman beautifully there. Good run there by Hausman. But the pitch has taken a lot of water in the last 24 hours, and that really skidded far too far ahead of Osgood. Here's Pat Jennings. Creedy. And now Mullery. To the Chelsea goalkeeper, Peter Bonetti. Webb to Beale. And Mullery. Finding Chivers. What a difference the arrival of Peters must have made to Mullery, taking so much weight off him in midfield. And here is Martin Peters. Gilzane, good work by Tottenham. Gilzane with a shot and a beautiful save by Bonetti. From Alan Gilzane. Curling just inside that post and Bonetti was down on it like a flash. Peter Bonetti, who made his first appearance for Chelsea ten years ago this weekend. And what a glorious ten years it's been for Peter. But a corner there to Tottenham and Alan Mullery to take it. And Mike England has gone roaming to the edge of that Chelsea penalty area. This will go towards England, getting up well with a header and Bonetti. Peter Hausman to David Webb. Who in fact scored at White Hart Lane in that 1 1 draw. Webb, the fullback. Throw now to Chelsea, and in fact it's David Webb to take it. Johnny Hollins with a throw for Chelsea. Tommy Baldwin to Birchinall. 
Kinnear and Knowles, or rather Jennings, and it's Jennings who gathers it. Beal. Peters trying to spray it wide there towards Gilzean. But McCready, Birchinall well up, Osgood well there, Birchinall again. And so many Spurs players are back, but now Baldwin with a shot, and a goal by Tommy Baldwin! Just on five minutes gone, some beautiful work in the air by Osgood, and Birchinall, who is such a fine header of the ball, and Baldwin tucking it home. Only a sixth goal of the season, Tommy Baldwin, coming after just five minutes. Now Morgan to Mallory, a swift one too there to try and get Chivers uh, a little bit of space, but now it's McCready. And I wouldn't mind betting that Chelsea would swap a goal after five minutes this afternoon for one after five minutes next week at Wembley, but a very good start for Chelsea. Mullery looking for Morgan Morgan's getting inside uh, Webb but Baldwin right back to tidy up and to find his goalkeeper Peter Bonetti free kick given against uh, Birchinall for backing into England Morgan Gilsey Hausman Interesting to see Hausman playing so deep for Chelsea. One normally expects to see him so much along the wings. And a throw given to Tottenham. And Chivers to take it. Gilzey. Mullery. With the sun coming out again. and now Gilzee a lot of Chelsea players back in fact only Birchinall is forward and now Birchinall's coming back as well so there's so little room for Tottenham but Gilzee trying to find Peters and now Peters through and Dempsey doing probably the right thing he could be sure of giving away the corner but he couldn't be sure that Panetti would get there before Peters who was darting through and so it's a corner to Tottenham again England has gone up and Roger Morgan to take it. Perryman, in fact. And Perryman again. And England and Peters right in there. Baldwin. Hinton. And uh, Knowles. But that's Cook with good control. Still Cook. Virginal. Hausman. Osgood, beautiful understanding again by Chelsea. Cook to Webb. Peters in very hard, and Baldwin going down, but now it's Hausman again, this time to Hollins. Chance for him to float a long one, and Birchinall's in the middle looking for it. And here is Birchinall, on the turn, and straight into the arms of Jennings. That was a good shot there by Birchinall as he was losing his balance. Kinnear to Gilzean. Now Hinton. Nice little pick there for Cook. And now Hollins. And a good piece of covering there by Steve Perriman. That really was a good piece of defence by Perriman, only 17 years old, but what a future this fellow's got. But it's Hollins, who is capable of quite a long throw, with the throw for Chelsea. And Peters getting ahead to it. Hollins driving in. Peters well there, challenged by Birchinall. Now Hollins again. And good work there by Jennings to push it out. The fact that he got a hand to it was good, but it almost was at the feet of Webb. McCready. Flick on by Osgood, and a flick away by Chivers. Roger Morgan. 
Hausman steaming back, Hollins you see steaming back as well, Dempsey there watching closely, and Peters up in support. Greedy, but straight to Perriman. For his skipper Mullery. Perriman again. Taking on Webb, and Webb sticking out the foot at precisely the right moment, so it's Beal. And Bonetti with that ball bouncing awkwardly, just a foot or so in front of him on that skidding surface. From Beal. Hollins with McCready. Beating Mallory so well there, McCready. Hard and low, and not coming through to a blue shirt. To Cyril knows. Morgan. Played nicely for Gilzean. Mullery with Kinnear outside him. Still Joe Kinnear and a free kick to Tottenham. side of the penalty area Peters and Hinton going in Hinton to give away the corner to Tottenham one of his strong band of Chelsea reserves Hinton and Birchall number 10 is another one of course no first division side really can claim to have a stronger first team pool than Chelsea have got but here's Mallory with the corner for Spurs aim towards England Hollins to nod it away, using all those neck muscles. And a throw to Tottenham. Cyril Knowles. Beal. And Hinton losing it out to Peters. Still Peters. Took a couple of challenges there, Mullery. Chivers to take the throw. And a good long one there, in fact, by Chivers. Perryman. Morgan. Still Morgan. And he couldn't quite turn on it as he drew his foot back. So Cook was in to take it away. Morgan again. This time to Knowles. Chivers aiming to get underneath it, and so too is Dempsey. Falling now for Peters. And now Hausman to Birchenall. Peters and Mallory doing a lot of good work for Tottenham on the edge of that uh, spur on the edge of that Chelsea penalty area now. Cook, Hollins and Hinton. Peters. Trying a one-two there which almost came off. Hollins spotting it and this time Hollins giving away the corner. And certainly Spurs are putting a lot of pressure on Chelsea now. Mallory and Peters doing a lot of good work. Perryman working all the way. And Gilzean with those flicks of his, often threatening to open up the way. Perryman with the corner. Gilzean with under those flicks. And McCready in two minds as to whether belt it clear or let it go. Decides to let it go and it's a goal kick then to Chelsea. Eddie McCready, the skipper, in place of Ron Harris, who has this troublesome hamstring. Mike England to Peters. Chivers. Knowles. Peters again. They've made no ground spurs. All they've done is uh, find five or six extra Chelsea defenders are back. But here's Mullery. Gilzean, a nice little flick to Morgan. Can he turn it across? They really should have done more with that one, Tottenham. And now it's Birchenall. Just Birchenall and Osgood up. Hollins coming through fast. Birchenall, in fact, falling very dramatically after he'd been checked by England. 
but it's a free kick to Chelsea. And it's going to be Hollins to take it. And for this one, both Webb and Dempsey have come right forward. Hollins saying that Perriman's not ten yards away. The referee agreeing, and Perryman's got to go back a yard. Hollins then. Dempsey getting ahead to it. Virginal hoping to turn it. He's a good, strong running player, Virginal, and always very dangerous, but he's really had a most disappointing se uh, season with injuries. It was only five weeks ago that he had 12 stitches in a, a leg wound against Newcastle. Martin Peters. I can't think why this first half has dragged into nearly three minutes of injury time because there hasn't been any injury time, well, there hasn't been any injuries, but there, in fact, goes the whistle for half-time. And a good first half filled with good attacking football and fairly adventurous football to Tommy Baldwin. The half-time score at Stamford Bridge, Chelsea 1, Spurs 0. More soccer action for you in just a couple of minutes. So Chelsea will be hoping to keep this lead in the second half as they get us underway again and of course steer clear of injury with Wembley so much in their minds England finding Peters who had such a fine first half he really does seem to be blossoming now with uh, Mallory in support and Perryman as well Spurs looking very strong in midfield coming forward and here's Chivers to Peters but a poor one by Peters He's getting a fair bit of stick from, Kine from uh, Knowles. I think Peters expected Knowles to gallop after that one. But it's a goal kick then to Chelsea. He's obviously had a tremendous influence already, Peters, on this Chelsea's, on this uh, Tottenham side. Peter Bonetti. Osgood trying to set Birchinell away. Baldwin and Hausman breaking superbly, Peter Hausman. Oh, and he missed it! He missed it, and although tremendous credit there for Jennings, who came out very swiftly indeed to challenge, to make his job more difficult. Virginal. But it's Mullery. Gazine, another little flick. This time for Kinnear. But Cook finding McCready. And McCready feeding a poor one there towards Cook. And so it's Philip Beale now for Tottenham. To Knowles. Chivers. To Peters. And a good shot there by Peters. A nice little flick on by Gilzine. But Peters hitting it straight at uh, Bonetti. Looks like he took a bit of a knock as well. Peter Osgood. And the throw given to Tottenham. Gilsey. To Peters. Mullery. Spurs with fresh heart after that uh, shot by Peters. Perryman. The game really has gone off the boil a little bit after that first half, though. Morgan just keeping it in. And now Knowles. Chivers to Peters, a nice little flick there for Knowles. Mullery trying to go wide on the right. But Webb, the winner there, finding Tommy Baldwin. Hollins. Played almost beautifully there, but uh, equally well stopped by Philip Beale. Peters. To Chivers. Peters going on. Baldwin. Mullery. Ball that almost found Gilzean, but Dempsey was there first. Now it's Peters to Mullery again. A 
I'm sure Dave Sexton there in his uh, crow's nest on the left. Dave Sexton would dearly love to see another Chelsea goal to put him out of his agony. And the linesman's flag was up. Every Chelsea player had gone forward, and uh, poor Alan Birchnell finding himself offside when he's only some five yards inside the uh, Tottenham half. All right, give or take a yard, perhaps seven yards then. Mike England. Oh, Mullery! Oh, and flicked away brilliantly at the very last by Hinton. That was a brave little break by Mullery, almost catching everybody out, but that was a superb piece of defensive covering, though, by Marvin Hinton. There's Hinton. What a good reserve he is. Mullery with a long and a deep corner. England getting up to put it back in again. Gilzean looking to get up again, and McCready to belt it away to Birchinall, to Cook. Going past both Perryman and Kinnear, Cook away. Birchinall outside him, aimed beautifully, paced beautifully for Birchinall, with a shot across the goal, which neither Hausman nor Hollins could possibly hope to get. But a good break by Chelsea nonetheless. Beautiful pass from Cook, measured to the inch for Birchinall. Mullery to Cyril Knowles again Gilzean calling for a high one at the far post and that's going towards him Peters trying to get under it as well and did well to get his head to it Charlie Cook to Marvin Hinton oh let that show just a little too much of that to Alan Mullery now it's Chivers with a shot just past the post into that side netting from Chivers. Chelsea defence well back on its heels there. But not ready for that very swift counter-attack. And perhaps Chelsea just a little lucky to survive. There's Benetti from behind his goal. Morgan. Spurs coming into it much more now and also looking much more dangerous. And here's the chance, Gilzean, but offside is given. Offside given against Alan Gilzean. And so it's no goal. Peters to Morgan. Spurs have had so much of this game, but that's only in the last few minutes that they've begun to look really dangerous, and there's Morgan. Just a little too high. Well, if Spurs are going to do anything, they've got to do it quickly now, with under ten minutes left. Now Peters, Chivers to Peters with a long shot, and almost over the line, was it over the line or wasn't it? No, says the referee, but that really was touch and go. Benetti unfortunately shielding the ball from our cameras with his body, but the linesman was directly in line. England to Kinnear. Now Gilzean to Chivers. Peters well up as well. Still Chivers, but so many blue shirts are now back. Here's Perryman. Morgan, Peters, Chivers, so tight, little room, and Bonetti again getting behind it. And a Chelsea player down on the deck in a good deal of pain, and Osgood nodding it into touch. From that view, it's hard to say who it is. But when the number shows, you can see it's Eddie McCready. A 
Well, that must be a relief for Chelsea fans to see that McCready is all right again. McCready has now tucked that medallion inside his shirt. I'm sure the referee would have asked him to have done in any case because it could uh, be some sort of danger for men when you're going high for a ball. And now Knowles. A long and a high one. Gilzine to try and get underneath it. And these really must be the last attempts now for Tottenham to pull its goal back. As we're in injury time already, Peters, Perryman. And the whistle has gone before anyone could do anything about it. And so it's a victory for Chelsea by a goal to nil scored so early in the game by Tommy Baldwin. So the final score at Stamford Bridge is Chelsea 1, Spurs 0.